The Koki frog originally comes from Puerto Rico. However, the population on the east side of the island of Hawaii has approximately 23,000 frogs per acre. This is almost twice the densities per acre found in Puerto Rico. The island of Hawaii is the most infested island in the state of Hawaii with 60,000 acres infested. In Pahoa, the frog's chorus reaches 70 decibels, which is almost louder than a vacuum cleaner. In Waimea, Hawaii, the population is rapidly growing and community organizations are taking matters into their own hands. We are formed um, from concerned community members that want to target the frogs and we're all volunteer run and donation based and you'll see groups like that in Volcano that have been really effective and Kohala that have been really effective. The frogs are about the size of a quarter and we've been seeing them get bigger actually. We think that uh, the conditions here are really good for them. They have an uh, abundant amount of food and they don't really have any predators. So I think they're actually becoming larger. We have seen some that are um, way bigger than average size. But it is a good thing to tell people because I think a lot of people have it in their head that they're very small and therefore they would be very hard to see, to find, but they're actually very visible once you do spot them. An individual frog um, making the sound is not that annoying, but when you do get a really large infestation, the decibel level can just get out of control and that's what causes the annoyance. I didn't realize how many frogs are actually here in Waimea until I started working for this job and uh, going to other parts of Waimea, but they are in Waimea more than you would think. If you have a pretty heavy infestation, you hear probably 10 or more in a concentrated area, then most likely the frogs are there, the frogs are probably breeding, there are females around, eggs are being laid, and in that scenario, I think the best approach would be citric acid. Use a sprayer and you make a broad sweeping spray with citric acid to try to come in contact with the frog skin, which will kill them. And that is an approved method by the EPA uh, to take care of frog infestations. However, if you just have one or two frogs in your yard, then it is effective to go out and hand catch. And it can actually be pretty fun. So you just go out there and follow the sound. You know, you're wearing boots and a headlamp. Um, and then once you locate the frog, oftentimes when you see it, you can just reach in and grab really fast. And then uh, you can put it in a plastic bag and then put that plastic bag in the freezer and they'll go to sleep in the freezer. Once you get the hang of how big the frogs are, you understand what type of leaves would support their body weight and what type of leaves might be too narrow. So you're able to adjust where you look based on that information and based on the plants you know would be more likely to have frogs on them. So if you hear a frog, don't wait. <laughs> it's easiest to get them when it's just one or two. If you wait and they reproduce, which they can at a very fast rate, then it can make that problem that much more overwhelming. We believe very much that the frogs can be controlled here in Waimea. This is Mariah Haight for Hawaii Preparatory Academy for Hikino.